The emotion I had engaging in therapy is I wanted to have a better understanding as to the why behind my feelings. Um, what was the root cause? And is there any history there that I could leverage to understand myself better now? So the stereotypes I've heard uh, about men engaging in counseling are that they are soft or that they are feminine in some way. Uh, those didn't influence my uh, wanting to get into treatment at all. Um, I didn't have a complex in uh, feeling that way at all. Um, I recognized that I wanted to uh, learn more about myself, learn more about my emotions, and that's what drove me to counseling. So no, that didn't affect my decision at all. Therapy has improved my life by equipping me with the tools I need to better understand myself, to better communicate with others, loved ones, family, and friends and also allowing me to dig deeper into my past and understanding why I feel the way I do. My message to my brothers are, take care of your mental health. Um, there's no longer a stigma about going to counseling or going to therapy. Um, mental health now has been treated like any other physical treatment. Um, you know, if your ankle is hurting, you go see a doctor. Um, if your back is hurting, you go see uh, a physical therapist. Uh, there's no reason why we can't treat mental health in the same capacity. So um, go and see your mental health care provider. The feelings that I was uh, dealing with when I decided that I needed therapy as an option for my well-being was that I was feeling completely overwhelmed. I was a young man at that time. Um, and I started having these feelings of complete anxiousness and almost a total loss of self-control. Um, I later, later learned that that was attributable to the fact that I was having anxiety attacks. Um, I was just in a place in life where life was closing in on me and I was not being able to find solutions, resolutions, and so I needed an outlet, and therapy provided that outlet. It allowed me to talk through some of the things that I was dealing with and helped me to think more deeply about myself and about my circumstances and helped me look at angles of well-being, both mental and physical, that I hadn't necessarily considered. So some of the stereotypes and misconceptions that I had heard or, you know, particularly about black men is that, you know, we're rocks, uh, we don't break, uh, you know, we don't have emotion, um, you know, we, we don't admit when things are going wrong, we tough it out and, you know, we just plow through. Um, as, as a whole, as a people, you know, the stereotype is that, you know, going to therapy is only for crazy people. Um, and if you go to therapy, you must really have a serious problem. But luckily, because I was interested in psychology in high school and had majored in psychology when I first went into college, um, I knew that those were just misconceptions and stereotypes. So when I found it necessary to seek some help for the issues that I was having, I didn't really have a problem in terms of uh, being hesitant. Therapy has improved my life because it's allowed me to look more holistically at issues that I've been having or I am having um, in terms of finding resolution. Uh, sometimes what happens with us is that we get trapped in our own little boxes and we're only thinking from one perspective. Uh, however, therapy allows you the opportunity to look at uh, an issue or issues from a number of different perspectives, which is more positive as it relates to, you know, resolving your issue. Uh, and again, misconception uh, of therapy a lot of times is that you're going to a therapist in order to have them solve your problem. That is the misconception. Uh, when you go to therapy, you go to do work. You actually go to uh, have someone be a sounding board for the things that are troubling you and then they will offer you suggestions in regards to possible ways to deal with the issues that you're having or 
um, give you angles to think about that you may not have considered. My suggestion to brothers who may be having some reservations about going to therapy are that, A, uh, no man is an island. Um, you can't do it all by yourself. Uh, the tough guy approach doesn't work. Um, if you think you're strong, then the best thing to do when you're feeling weak is to be strong enough to admit that you're feeling weak or feeling like you need help and go get it. That's the strong thing to do. Um, to ignore the problem or to act like it doesn't exist can be far more injurious to you long term than taking the time and the energy to go seek out something that might help change your life. So I enthusiastically uh, support going to therapy and uh, getting that help in terms of having a sounding board to help you talk through issues.